In this video, we're going to be discussing the various types of security cameras for home use. This first camera is a bullet camera. It's also known as a lipstick camera because of the cylindrical shape. And it's basically a sealed cylinder with a lens and sensor chip. And it's waterproof and weatherproof. And as you can see, it's highly concealable. This would be good for outdoor use where you need a camera like underneath an eave. Here's another example of a bullet camera. This one's a little bit longer and more slender. Most of the bullet cameras come with very similar hardware that's got a swivel mount and a base mount that allows you to adjust the angle of the camera. Here's another variation on the bullet camera. This one is white in color and actually has a built-in microphone. You may want to check your local laws regarding audio surveillance being used with video surveillance because there may be some restrictions on that. Be sure to check with local law enforcement or your attorney. This next camera is an example of a bullet camera with built-in infrared LEDs for nighttime illumination. And as you'll see, there's an array of LEDs and there's a photo cell down at the bottom in green and when light levels dip to below a certain level the infrared LEDs automatically turn on. Here's another example of a smaller bullet camera with infrared LEDs and this is a little bit more concealable. It could go outside underneath your eaves and you'll notice the swivel mount hardware. Here's an example of a bullet camera with infrared and also a sun shield which screws onto the top of the camera that blocks out sun. You can also remove that and use the camera just by itself without the sun shield. These are very common in a lot of areas that have um, excessive sunlight. Here's an example of a bullet camera that does not have built-in IR LEDs. Uh, it's a little bit on the larger side, comes with a larger mount this is more of a heavy duty commercial grade type of camera. It has adjustments for focal length and for focusing. This particular model goes from 5 millimeters to 50 millimeters. That's pretty good zoom range. You'll notice the aperture in the objective lens is very wide in diameter, which allows a lot of light to enter the camera. This camera also has a sun shield on the top which can be removed just by sliding it off. This is an example of a dome camera and you'll notice the camera is concealed in the dome. It has a little bit of a reflective appearance so it makes it difficult to see which way the camera is pointing and that can be an advantage. This will typically mount indoors in a situation like a department store or a small business where you want the camera to blend in with the surroundings. It has a bit of a rounded shape and it's very unobtrusive. Here's another example of a dome camera. This is a vandal resistant dome camera and it's built to withstand shock and it's also weatherproof and that housing is pretty strong so it's makes it ideal for areas that are prone to vandalism where you need a protected camera. You'll notice it also has infrared LEDs built in. These cameras usually come with a base plate that is mounted to the wall or ceiling and then the camera is in turn mounted to the base plate. So there's a variety of ways that this camera can be mounted on a wall and at different angles. The camera also pivots and rotates inside the mount, which allows a variety of viewing angles to be obtained. This is a box camera, and here we see the box camera with the CCD sensor chip exposed. That's a CS mount lens, and the lens screws onto the front of the camera, and it has adjustments for focal length and focusing and it also has a connector for motorized power so you can remotely control that lens focal length and focusing and as you can see the lens screws onto the 
front of the box camera and the connector plugs into the camera and that provides power for the motorized lens. This type of camera as is is best suited for indoor use. It's not waterproof so you don't want to use it outdoors. To use it outdoors you'll need to have some sort of protective housing. Here's an example of a typical housing for a box camera and as you can see this opens up and the box camera will mount to the base of the housing and it will be protected from the weather. Many of the housings also have wiring for fans that can be installed inside the housing to provide cooling air for the camera which prevents it from overheating. This particular housing has a base plate for mounting and also has an opening for cable management at the bottom.